Hey everyone, this is Kramon and welcome back to another Summoner's War Siege Battle. Before we begin, I would just like to announce that I'll be doing the Twitch live streaming following my schedule starting from Saturday. And on Wednesday itself, I'll be doing a YouTube live for my own summoning session for the 7 year anniversary for Comtoris. But before we begin, I would just like to show you guys something awesome as well. I would like to thank Jamstone Legends for sponsoring this video. If you want to get involved, please make sure to download via my link which I have provided down in the description below. And Jamstone Legends have also provided everybody with a free starter pack if you use this code. So, what is Jamstone Legends? Jamstone Legends is a turn-based RPG puzzle game that is both challenging and fun to play with a vast variety of content. What I really love the most about this game is of course the wide selection of monsters which can be obtainable through summoning from scrolls. We've also got the option to equip our heroes with different sets of artifacts which are obtainable from exploring through the story mode and you will also be able to bring in dragons which will definitely help your heroes out in your battles. You will be able to unlock the arena and we've got awesome events regularly lined up for everyone we also got a different style of gameplay where you can move the tiles diagonally to create more combos and each hero that you bring in your fights has a different ability as well ranging from buffs, supports or even dealing damage. I have also created a guild called Kray, it is K-R-A-Y and you'll be able to join me to take down guild raid bosses together. So please make sure to send in your guild applications once you unlock the feature as there are limited slots for the guild. Don't forget, if you want to download Jamstone Legends, please make sure to use my code hashtag Cray hashtag. Type it in the in-game chat and you'll be able to receive Elidor, a free epic hero including 5 gold scrolls, 300 gems and 500,000 coins. Please take note that the code is only valid for the first 3 hours after the initial installation of the game. So make sure to collect it as soon as possible. Once again, Thank you to Jamstone Legends for the sponsor and let's continue on with our siege battle. Today we're up against VRK Gangster and Birdman Gang. So we'll be checking out the rankings on both sides. VRK should be in the top 5. Alright, there we go. Um, 8, 4 and 1. However, Birdman Gang, they are at rank 8. Okay, 9, 2 and 2. We'll be checking out the defenses on both sides as well. So on VRK Gangster's side, they are rocking this Zenobia, Shina, and Clara. So this one, pretty simple for the first fight. We always run our Jotan, Sien, and Rina. However, their Tower 11 here, Kumon Iris, and that Win Ryu, or the Retash. Pretty interesting stuff. And some Cheongpong, Moor, and the Perna. Tower 10, the middle one. Is the LD tower, I believe. So we are seeing like Gianna Tianlang. Fashion has the Gianna as well. I'm pretty sure Cloud has the Zeratu one. Zeratu Lauren. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> and on Birdman Gang's side, Net Force also the twins. Huh. It seems like every time when we are up against two guilds, their net 4 towers are the exact same compositions. <laughs> uh, tower 9 here also utilizing the Water Ryu. And we are seeing this Celia, Cheongpong, another Water Ryu defense. Okay. And for the middle 10, Kumon, Savannah, Clara. So yeah, back to the old school meta here. Let's go! We'll be starting our first fight of the day against this Tessarian Bastard and Odin. Of course, I'm gonna choose my Camilla, Tessarion, and Beta, but can we still enter into this one? Yes, we got it! <laughs> they are kinda challenging my guildmates instead, because we, I do not want to wait another half an hour for our first fight only. Yeah, I want to try to use up all my swords as soon as possible. And you know the drill. Always aim the opponent's Tessarion first. Once we bring him down, there shouldn't be any way for that Odin and Bastet to kill off our team, right? Okay, nice. Can we get some crits here? Perfect. Just 6,000 only? <laughs> but of course, it's through the shield. 
So I'm just gonna work on to the Tessarion, just try to do some poke damage. We didn't really get the crit there. Mm. Yeah, I'm just gonna normal attack. This should kill. Got 10,000. And from here, we'll just work on to the Odin. Yeah, we'll heal up our Camilla because she's pretty low on health. Can we land the armor break? Oblivion? Perfect. Nice additional proc as well. Can we get one more? <laughs> Being too greedy there. Okay, but doesn't really matter. The Saren will finish off the Odin. Because of the Oblivion, he won't be reviving. And from here, we'll just press the auto button. The first win is in the back. So, I feel like we've been playing pretty solid uh, recently. I feel like our score is always like 9 wins minimum. So, let's just pray that we can keep this offense rate going into the tournament itself, alright? So yeah, Busted dies here, first win. We'll be fighting the Net4 defense on BRK Gangster side. They changed their lineup to the Karkano, Vigor, and Triana. And I'm gonna bring in my Vigor, Kaki, Triana. I feel like this is still my safest team against it. Whenever I use the Water Twins Harmonia, I kind of lose every time. I'm not too sure why. <laughs> so we'll just cleanse the armor break away. And... I need the opponent's Vigor to heal. Perfect. So with the speed buff, the Kakano moves first. Additional proc. Goodbye, Kakano. And from here, of course, very simple. The Triana is hitting really hard. So we'll work on the Triana here. Should be squishy. Yeah, there we go. So crit damage Triana always very squishy because they kind of lose out the slot for health, the HP percentage there. And yeah, just slice it like butter. And from here, 3v1 against this Vigor. Shouldn't be any way for him to kill off my Kaki unless he gets like insane amount of procs. But still, we do have Triana to protect our Kaki if anything goes badly. I don't see any way. Yeah, there you go. The Tower 9 just opened up and I'm really interested to hit this Kumun, Iris and Retash. So we don't really see Retash together with Iris often. So far, I believe it's only something along the lines of Water Ryu or the more with the Retash and a Fire Damage Dealer. Okay, perfect. No stuns. We'll put the heal up and the immunity. I'm gonna go for the Toy Knight first. Yeah, we got the stun onto the Retash. Perfect. And I really want to seal off this Iris first because I do not want her to silence my Rika. It'll be two turns of downtime. Okay, nice. Good stun. And let's just head right in with our Fire Garden Angel. We do have our Ventilate up. Just gonna do that. And nice, we got the stun as well on the Retash. However, the Iris stuns my Rika. Hmm. Doesn't really matter, right? So we just place the Fire Garden Angel again. We do have to ventilate. <laughs> so yeah, this is like Theory Heart. Just keep on putting the dots. Everything is stunned up as well. So I believe. Let me see here. Will the Iris die? I think she will. We just place the Divine Wind again, just to play it safe. Oh, last hit. Not enough. But with this stun... Yeah, I think the Iris should be dead. We'll just ventilate up Arika. Go for the reset again. <laughs> yeah, this team is fully controlled all the way since the start. And yeah, definitely everything will die to the dots right now. No other way around that. Perfect! This time, we'll be able to use our sword on this Water Ryu Etna Masha-ish defense. And I'm just gonna head right in with our Fingyan Perna and Fedora. So this one, I really don't see any difficulties with the offense that I'm bringing. Because Fingyan is always like the master race. I don't think he will actually die to Masha. Okay, perfect. No additional prop. <laughs> I mean, if the Masha got the additional proc right there, it could be actually really scary. But I think from here, we need our Fedora to put the immunity up ASAP. Yeah, we'll just use the decline. 
I'm gonna dismount the Marsha so that when my Perna moves, we'll be able to delete that unit right off the bat. There you go, one crit. And from here, easy. There's no way the Etna kills off our team, honestly. And Water Ryu isn't doing too much damage as well. So artifacts wise, the opponent's Water Ryu needs more additional damage. You can see when he used the second skill, it only does like what, 900 plus? Oh, okay, about 1005 actually. <laughs> but I mean, if you have very good additional damage artifacts on your Water Ryu, it does about 2 to 3k, right? This tower 10 just opened up and it's the Busted Perna and Leona. So this one, I think it's pretty straightforward and simple. We'll just go for our Bovert Molong combination. We try to delete off the Leona ASAP. On the first turn and from there I don't see any way for the Bastet and Perna to win our team due to the fact that it's elemental disadvantage for the Perna right? <laughs> Unless he goes really crazy with the attack buff critting non-stop um, yeah I mean that could happen as well but with the current situation the recent nerf on the crit rate I don't think that it's actually possible. <laughs> Let's just pray. Okay, we'll just go for the stun here. Can we get it? Okay, we got it onto the Perna. And now we'll be able to use the Forbidden Gilder onto the Bastet. So already down to Half-Life. That's a very nice armor break as well. And just continue working on it. After Bastet goes down, Perna left alone, shouldn't be able to do too much. Okay, he gets off one more buff. And we'll be able to place this third skill again. And Molong will be able to finish up the Bastard here. Awesome. And, yeah. Oh my god. Actually crits really hard. 18,000 with attack buff. But thankfully, our team is really tanky. I mean, my Molong is like plus 39 or 40k, I believe. Bulwark is around plus 33,000 HP, and we do have that 44% HP leader as well. I'm just gonna save up all my skills, try to kill off the Perna's first life, and after this, we'll be able to use... Oh my god, stop procking. Okay, <laughs> we are finally able to heal up into the Reckless Assault, and this will be another win. The situation is still really tense, everybody's points is still really close and we are gonna fight this Zenobia, Clara and the Shina. Of course, I'm gonna bring in my Jultan, Sien and Rina. This team is super safe against it as long as we land one bomb on either one of the twins. <laughs> Please? Awesome! Okay, so we got it on to the Shina. So Shina definitely would die to the bomb. Clara, however, should be pretty tanky, but yeah, just Half-Life only. But I still feel like we can just press the auto button and focus down the Clara. And after the Clara goes down, there shouldn't be any way for the Xenobia to kill off your Rina. Unless the Clara armor breaks my Rina right now, we might be in trouble. Okay, she didn't do it. <laughs> and once the Clara goes down, come on. Okay, we are safe. The Zenobia is finally going down. Rina will be able to kill off that unit. One of my guildmates just lost this one. It's another Kakano, Vigor, and Triana. I'm gonna bring in my Vigor, Elusia, and Sin. This team is also pretty safe, I believe. We just need to kill off the Kakano ASAP. Okay, goes for the Shred. Additional turn to the heal block. That's not good. We can't do anything here. Everything is getting props. <laughs> we have to heal up our sin. Even lands the heal block again. My Vigor can't heal. We have to put the Vigor to sleep. Okay, can we armor break into the additional prop? Come on. We need it. Nice. Stun. I'm gonna go for the shred. Not enough damage. We got additional prop to heal! That's not good! Can we kill off the Kakano? Come on, so close! <laughs> oh no, my Vigor might die here! 
I need a god proc. We got it, okay. We heal up our Vigor. Thankfully, no crit there. We finish off the Kakano. But our Vigor can't sustain. Oh, we have to play it really smart from here. Because I do know that this Triana is on a crit damage build. It's hitting really hard. 8.6k crit without armor break. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, we have to heal up. Additional prop into the sleep. You've gotta be kidding me. 10k now. So, wait, this Triana's artifacts, I believe, is the crit damage percentage based on the condition of the HP is bad. Yeah, it's doing more damage when my life is lower. Oh my god, okay. No joke, man. <laughs> we have to put the Vigor to sleep. Okay, Triana chooses to cleanse herself. We are fine with that. Don't proc Vigor. Additional proc! <laughs> um, yeah, we have to put him to sleep again. Oh no, I'm not liking this. My Elisa is really low on health and their health situation is still both really full. 11k crit now. And the sleep. Nice prop though. Thankfully the Triana didn't crit there. Woo! <laughs> Last hit! Come on! Yeah. I think we got this one. Because from here, I think the Vigor will always hit my Sin, so we heal him up. And yeah, I think we're good. Vigor will finally go down here, and we got our 7 wins in a row. There are 2 towers opening up, and we'll be facing the Kumun, Savannah, and Clara. So I'm really liking whenever I'm seeing this kind of old school meta defense, I'll be able to bring in my very safe counter for it, the Jean, Skogol, and Leo. Of course, you could also run Fing Yen, Perna, Fedora, or Amelia. Another good one is, of course, the Fing Yen, Veladrol, and Emma. <laughs> uh, I think Ludol is like complaining because we are entering it really fast. But yeah, we are really happy to see this one because we should be able to get another win from it. I'm gonna play it really greedy here with this invincibility buff. We do have our Torrent up. I'm gonna go for the Kumun. We crit! <laughs> nice! So once Kumun goes down, there's no more shields to protect the Savannah or the Clara. We even got the additional proc right there. And yeah, this one should be in the back. GG. No way this Savannah wins our team. Okay, additional proc. But once Leo moves... Yeah, there you go. We'll try to layer this Tower 7, it's the Kumon, Vigor, and Etna. I'm gonna bring in my Fing Yen. yeah I have to choose Fing Yen leader, together with Veladrol and Emma. So this one, pretty solid as well against this kind of teams, where we just try to focus down the Etna first. After that, no more strips on their side, it's just like some damage coming up from Vigor and the Kumon. But of course, we do have the 3 turns immunity all the time. Once our Emma gets the buff, we'll put it, medical support, and I'm just gonna go for the Sanctuary first because of the anti-crits, I do not want to risk it. Okay, Etna is pretty squishy here. And Veladrol, can you move? Awesome, crit! <laughs> okay, so we'll just work on the opponent's Kumun from here because... We'll be placing the Calm Mine into the counter. Kumon will always aim my Feng Yen. Nice, we landed the Armor Break. Perfect. Even gets the Glancing. What's the Punishment Damage? 20k? Yeah, I assume so. I'm just gonna go for the kill. <laughs> so many props, okay. So this one really safe. Um, just left this Vigor alone. And we do have Destroy on our Fingyan as well. Can we strip? Nice. Just heal up. And I'm just gonna press the normal attack. We're down to our last sword of the day and a potential back-to-back -back victory. 10 wins in a row. 
and we'll be taking this one seriously against the Orion Kaki Triana. With this team, my second set of Vigor Kaki Triana, we have to kill off the opponent's Kaki first. And if the opponent's Triana is not on a crit damage build, it's pretty much GG, alright? We'll heal up. Because the Humbler's Prank is coming. Gets the strip stun. Yeah, I have to heal. For the speed buff. <sighs> Didn't get the pushback or the sleep. Very unfortunate. My Triana might die here. Oh my god, that's a lot of damage. We need one more proc. Didn't get it. Ah! <laughs> Stun and armor break my Kaki. Triana dies as well. This has to prop the Triana's passive. Come on. Awesome. I think we might have a chance. This Triana is not hitting hard. So even if the Orion does the harmless prank, armor breaks my vigor. I think this Triana only does about 3 to 4k. We can deal with that. And we're just gonna go for the kill on to the Orion. One more hit. Okay, Kaki will be able to finish off the Triana. And we got 10 wins in a row again. Good job, Glenn. The siege battle has finally ended and we got 327 crystals followed by 342 guild points. We'll collect all of those and head over to check out the map layout at the end of that fight. So, VRK Gangster got 2nd place followed by Birdman Gang at 3rd. We'll also open up the rubbish box as usual. Mm hmm, one more shiny left. As always, I'm gonna pick the top left. Hopefully we can get it. Damn it. <laughs> so one blue rune, all manas. Yeah, just 11,000 mana on that. Not worth. Should just give me the mana straight. <laughs> 30k there. And yeah, we can buy one scroll. And let's just do a random review of the day. What can we get? Hopefully a lightning. Oh, we even have a mystical scroll. Okay, we'll just use both of them then. Okay, golem kun. Not really usable and a war bear. Okay, war bear good for R5 frontline just to die and revive. Okay, <laughs> and thank you once again everyone for watching. Please stay tuned. On Wednesday, I will be doing a YouTube live for the seven year anniversary summon session for my account and a few more others, and it'll be at 9 p.m. SGT on Wednesday, 28th of. April. So hope to see you guys there and please remember to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow my Twitch. Thank you everyone for watching. Take care and stay safe. Peace out.